Hi, I'm Sam. Have you ever considered how much a tornado sucks? Now, I don't mean sucks as in is bad. Obviously, tornadoes tend to be a little bit rubbish. I mean, how much suction do they have? Tornadoes can form in a few ways, but one of the more common is due to unstable air and wind shear, when two layers of air are moving at different speeds and maybe different directions. Imagine if air at the surface is traveling at 20 kilometers an hour south, and air at high altitude is traveling at 60 kilometers an hour west. Those different wind speeds will create a sort of layer that tends to spiral and vortex in the middle. And all you need then is a bit of updraft or downdraft at one end before that spiraling vortex becomes vertical and forms a tornado. But 60 kilometers an hour isn't that fast in terms of tornado speeds. In this wind booth, I'm going to experience speeds twice that fast, and that is more in the realm of tornadoes. but it's still nowhere near as fast as some recorded tornado wind speeds. They've been remotely clocked going over 300 miles an hour. And I say remotely because no one's managed to directly measure the wind speed because their equipment tends to get destroyed. So the winds are certainly powerful, but could they lift me up? Well, the short answer is easily. They've been reported lifting trains of up to 80 tons, but it wouldn't be a comfortable ride. Because of the really high rotational winds, the centrifugal force would probably just blow you sideways. To get lifted high, you'd have to stay in the same place as the edge of the vortex passed over you, and then let go at exactly the right point where the tornado had its maximum upward velocity. It's rare, but it can happen. In Pampa, Texas, a tornado lifted cars and trucks high into the sky. Inside, the vortex would have been a terrifying blender of flying debris. But assuming you survive that, it could transport you, or throw you, quite a distance. In 1915, in Kansas, a tornado rushed over a wildlife area and deposited hundreds of dead ducks 25 miles away. And in 1953, chunks of soggy frozen mattress rained down on Boston Harbor, some 50 miles east of where they'd been picked up. The furthest known pieces of paper or photos have been recorded some 200 miles from where they were sucked up. So is it the center of the tornado, the eye, that does the sucking? Well, unlike a hurricane, which might have a relatively calm eye many miles across, the eye of a tornado is only small, perhaps just a few yards in diameter, and so chaotic and unpredictable that it's made any brief observations inside it very hard to achieve. Amazingly, there are a few accounts of people who've seen up the eye of a tornado from the base and live to tell the tale. But why haven't they been sucked upwards into it? Well, the eye of a tornado doesn't necessarily suck at all. In fact, it's possible it might flatten you with a powerful downdraft. With all the rotating air of the vortex heading upwards, it creates a very low pressure at the ground, creating the vacuum we all know. But as that pressure gradient builds and builds, at high altitudes, the high pressure air now has to drop down into the low pressure pockets around the tornado, including right down the eye of the tornado itself. Downbursts, intense rushes of downward flowing air, cause similar damage to the updraft of a vortex. The only difference being that with downbursts, the damage tends to be in a straight line, whereas with a vortex, it's circular. So not only do tornadoes definitely suck, they also totally blow. For more amazing science videos, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged. This week on Slow Mo, we're filming the hottest thing on the planet. Lightning. Is a bigger brain a better brain? The record size for brains in the animal kingdom goes to the sperm whale, weighing in at 7.8 kilograms or 17 pounds. What exactly is a sinkhole and could they appear anywhere? Residents had heard rumbling sounds for weeks and then early one morning a huge circular cavern opened up almost instantly. 